All right, hi everyone, I'm Jackie from JackiePartridge.com and today we're gonna to be doing some zentangling with Posca pens. So what a zentangle is, is it's creating some kind of pattern within a space. So this is a good practice you can do. I just did this with Sharpie on regular paper. So you can take a ruler and mark off uh, one inch and create lines vertically and horizontally to create yourself a grid and then you can fill in each individual square with different patterns so you can try doing lines grids waves spirals squiggles triangles you can create whatever kind of pattern you want so if we zoom in a little bit closer, you can see some of the different patterns. And there's a lot of great resources and ideas on Pinterest and YouTube. Just type in Zentangle. And with the Zentangle, once you've kind of done practice and you have some different ideas for how you're gonna create different patterns or designs, then you can do that with Posca pens. So I did another video called Posca Pens Basics, which I have linked in the description. But basically we're going to take some of our ideas and practice from our different Zentangle and we're going to fill in these circle shapes. So I did this on a watercolor paper and I used acrylic paint mixed with water to create a wash and then I created these kind of circle shapes with my brush, let it dry, and now we're going to use the Posca pens on top. So again, if you haven't watched the Posca pens basics video, that video is linked for you and it shows you how to use them and some different ideas for Posca pens as well. So, give it a good shake. And then you can kind of pick your different designs. So I really like this wavy line that kind of looks like waves. So then I'm just going to kind of use that to fill in my shape. And what's nice about Posca pens is you can just use it like a regular pen, um, like a Sharpie, but it has that paint finish it's not kind of a shiny sheen like a sharpie has after it dries so using a Posca pen is a really nice technique to incorporate and add into your art and you can really add some different drawing and different doodling so when you're doing a Zentangle, you just want to start from one side of the space or the shape and continue that pattern all the way to the other side. So the possibilities are kind of endless. I have circle shapes, but you could use hearts or flowers. You could create a painting of anything and fill in each separate section with a new design or doodle. So there's my first design with the waves. And then I also really like this one that kind of looks like fish scales or mermaids. And so you can do that as well. So the nice thing about Posca pens is that they come in a bunch of different colors as well as different thicknesses. So you can experiment with that when you're doing zentangling as well.
If you're doing a pattern that involves a lot of straight lines, you could use a ruler if you want a really uniformed look. I'm just freehanding it. If you want something a little bit more polished, you could also try doing this in pencil first and then going over it with your Posca pen afterwards. So there's our second design. Now I'm going to use my white one and do this wavy line here. It's really nice because it's going to cover over even darker colors of paint. So now I think I'll do a white one over here, maybe with some fish. Keep this an underwater theme. And then I might do some bubbles. And they're kind of like this wavy line design kind of looks like seaweed. So we can try doing that. Let's do some spirals like a whirlpool.
Let's do some specks of sand. So there you have it, suntangling can be really fun and a nice addition to add to your abstract acrylic painting. Posca pens are really nice because they have a nice fine line so you can really have some great control and add some drawing to your painting as well. So again, I encourage you to watch the Posca painting basics video if you haven't already watched it and have some fun with it. Tag me on Instagram at Jackie Partridge Art or use the hashtag Jackie Partridge Art Classes so that I can see what you're doing and give it a like. So if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel because new videos come out every single week. Thanks for watching and happy painting.